we're here, and it's time for Arena Kings. I hope you guys are uh, pumped up. I certainly am. I was invited, especially by the wonderful folks at Chess.com. I know what you're like, Danny, did you invite yourself to this, and now you're going to pretend that other people invited you? That's not what happened at all, okay? This isn't like at all. People think I run the Chess.com Twitter. That is false. Um, I was invited by my events team because they said, hey, like you should you should play every once in a while, you know, um, and they said um, you should you should go for it, you know. I think that I think that it makes a lot of people feel better when you see a title player struggle. As my CrossFit coach said to me this morning, she took a good look at my face and she said, "I can tell by your face that you're trying," which is a way of saying that looks hard for you, buddy. But I'm real glad you're here. Right, that's what my CrossFit coach said to me this morning. Um, and so, uh, anyway, I'm here. I am going to deliver today on uh, on the chess. And literally what that means is I'm going to win every chess game I ever play. So, Hikaru, look out. Um, and uh, if people are wondering what exactly I intend to do, that that's what I intend to do. I intend, I intend to win every game in the Arena Kings. And that's what we're going to do. So welcome, YouTube. I see you, Dave Barth, Mark Cesar, Raymond Cowell, uh, Claire Morgenstern. Why is it that I know that every name on YouTube is made up? I don't know. If that's if that's not the case, I apologize. Over to Twitch, we got Tagbon. Uh, we got... Uh, <laughs> very good, Tagbon. My, so my boys, uh, my kids, and you'll probably hear them. I'm actually streaming from home. I got both my daughters and my sons here. My wife is like running them back and forth to piano practice and stuff. She's a hero. Um, and, uh, I'm just here to stream, but they, they send me, they're really, my boys are getting older, which is actually really fun as you get kids that get older because, you know, their, their humor grows, like their knowledge of pop culture grows. And so they are often making fun of me naturally. And they sent me a video of a guy talking about CrossFit and it was great. It was great because it literally makes so much fun of CrossFit that, um, that, uh, it makes sense. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, we're here. I said hi to everybody else. I'll also say hi to the folks over at Chess TV, although I think they're probably still watching Hikaru, who's about to throw down. Um, and uh, so, hey, everybody there. But um, I know this is uh, slightly unprofessional to do on a stream that is live to the Chess channel, but can you hear me? Can you see me? Give me confirmation in chat that all seems well and that you're happy to be here. Do that, do that for me. So what's up, dog? I was just talking about the CrossFit video you sent me. You want to say hi to everybody? You can. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't want to. Um, good talk. Yeah. You want to tune into the old chess channel? Yeah, I will. <laughs> That's a lie. Um, I think if we if we play some music, um, we'll probably get taken down on YouTube. Did Ludd and Charlie play music? Am I allowed to do that as a guest host? I don't know what I'm allowed to do. Um, don't mess with me. I know the mic isn't muted and that is cruel for you to say when you know that I'm I'm on my own doing the best I can here. So seriously though, everything everything seems good. I should probably ask my staff instead of you guys that everything is good. I'll do that. I'll communicate with my staff instead of putting pressure on you guys. That that's that's not a fair thing for me to do, right? That would be an unfair host asking you guys to help me deal with any um, troubleshooting stuff. But um, yeah, Charlie and Lud usually take their shirt off. That could happen here. Um, I'm not a nervous Nelly. You stop it. You stop it, Chess. I don't even know which of you is ever behind that behind that chat. <laughs> like I can never figure out the tone of all the many people that uh, contribute to the official chess channels. And they are many, actually, legit, not joking, because um, oh, because chess is booming, if you haven't heard, and our company's growing, and um, chess.com is going to pass 250 salary employees this month. Can you believe that? Eric and I are freaking out. I don't want to do anything on, on camera that's going to get me like a strike from the DMCA is real aggressive these days. Am I even allowed to do any kind of symbol anymore? I don't know. Um, but I'm waiting for the games to begin. I assume they'll begin automatically. 
and uh, it's still, oh, look at that. It starts in 15 seconds. That's really cool that chess.com does that and gives you a timer. I didn't even know, okay? Who we got here? We got Hikaru, we got Jospom, we got Krikor. Dude, I'm going to take Krikor down, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Give me Krikor. I want Holyfield, okay? Um, this is it. Come on, who do I got? All right. I got the London kid. He's probably good. He's going to play a French, though. So that's no good for him or anyone. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we'll go with this line and we'll see what he wants. Um, I feel like with the British flag and everything that it is, I should I should start singing the Spice Girls. You know, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Don't do it, Dan. Don't do it. Come on. I'll do it. I'll take the pawn. Um, I don't even know if it's any good, but it's blitz, and so I'm just uh, I'm just having a ball. All right, so we got a classical French here, um, the tradish kind. I'm gonna put the king on b1 and call his bluff. Take my bishop. I dare you. Um, one of the tricky things about this particular position is uh, oh now I'm getting slack alerts on my desktop. Like who? Who turned those on? All right, what is that notification? I didn't ask for that. Um, yeah, Daryl and I are actually uh, pretty good friends. Johnny, come often. Um, I will be speaking again, presenting again, at the Sloan Sports Analytics Conference um, this this next year as well. Um, <clears throat> it'll be virtual. But I'm going to be on a panel discussing, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what I'm discussing yet, but yeah, I've done the Sloan Sports Analytics Conference a couple years in a row now. Daryl is my boy. Um, and yeah, thanks for asking. What's up, Newer33 with the love heart emote? Um, all right, so the tough thing about what I did is I went all in and now I have to defend the king side like my life depends on it, because quite literally it does. And so it's time to focus while you guys are hocus-pocusing. Um, okay, next move. What is their next move? Bishop takes f3. I can take with the g-pawn. I can bring the rook to e1 and also play knight d4. Something about the move knight d4 feels right. I'm not really worried about the g2-pawn because I've got two too many. I'm up a pawn right now. Um, and... Uh, And yeah, we're crushing. I got to check in with the, what do I win if I do good here? Yeah, I'm taking home the prize. You think I got my ass kicked by Lawrence Trent and the IMSCC to not take home that $100 prize? You think I would give that bleep up? You got another thing coming, brah. Okay, I only do this for the small prize funds. <laughs> Uh, any Hooters, um, I am going to check out what the Arena King prizes are, because i got to see what the old staff is up to these days, Carla. What are they doing with my money over there at chess.com, Carla? I don't even know anymore. Okay, he's threatening bishop takes a3 with knight to c3 check. Okay, that's clearly a problem of... Go here, right? Absolutely, friggin lootly, right? Kick a bishop, right? What would they call this? They'd call this, like, kick a bishop? Is that a juicer or something? I don't speak... Twitch meta. You know what the funny thing is about this whole generation? And I'm talking to Lud and Moist and all these guys. Like, all the meta, you know, and they're all, like, into renaming stuff. And my kids talk about it. Like, yo, no cap, Dad. Uh, that's um, way too dank. Not even... Don't even say... Uh, like, he's goaded on the sixth, bruh. Goaded on the sticks. Goaded on the sticks. Because they play... Like, the thing is, like, all the things they're saying have already been said before. Okay. And you know what's cool? Not being cool. That's the new cool. All right. By the way, queen takes e4 looks delicioso, Dora, because if bishop takes, knight takes, rook takes, guess who picks up the rook on a8 at the end? Eat your heart out, Hikaru, with those lines right there, baby girl. Uh, uh. Uh. Big Punisher, you I got what you're looking for. I got to win faster, right? Because that's the deal with Arena Kings. It's like, go, 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 because I'm going to get some today. I'm, oh, well, all right. He's sacking everything. This is one of these things that these that these guys do when they're losing. You know, they sack everything, these guys. 
let me tell you. Okay, if b takes, bishop takes b5, knight takes, rook takes with check, I can still play bishop b2, and the rook's still hanging. He'll play rook takes a3. I am up a piece, but it's a little bit dangerous, yeah? Takes, 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 rook takes with check, yeah? I can't move a king... Oh, wait, there is no queen c2, so I can play, actually, king a2. I've got c2 guarded. Well, all right. Let's go. All right. Why does the bishop on the b-file make you burp? Boom. That's full board awareness, Holmes. Right? Queen got this. Queen got this. Where you at, dog? Bishop b2. I need to get my rooks in the game. Um, this much is clear. Okay, now there's rook b2 coming. I'm aware that this is incredibly dangerous. All right? I'm incredibly aware that this is incredibly dangerous. This whole position. I'm bringing the rook up. Okay, now he's threatening rook b2 and then rook b1. Clearly, I've got some things to figure out. Queen there, I think I can do it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I can do this. He's threatening queen c2. That's a real problem. Ah, time, right? Time is of the essence in the old arena kings. Um, 12 seconds. Man, this is, this is tricky with time, actually. Go! I'm going to win every chess game I ever play. That's what I'm going to do. You know that? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to win every chess game I ever play from here on out. You're welcome. I think I was supposed to tweet before I went live. Do you tweet? Chat? Chat, do you tweet? Hey, chat, what's in your wallet? Capital One's got your new virtual assistant, Eno. Remember, Eno's looking out for you while you're doing your thing. Capital One, get your Eno virtual assistant. Hey, chat, what's in your wallet? You remember when I was doing that stuff for Twitch Rivals? I don't have a Capital One card. That's the truth. Okay, I'm too cheap to have a Capital One card. You know? Um, hey, chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. You're a real Chad. You know that, chat? Chat, you're a real Chad. I love that about you. I love that about you. Waiting for the real off of U.S. Army esports, exactly. Um, yeah, what in the world is with the U.S. Army going with, hey, chat, what's your warrior? Like, does someone, does, can someone talk to the U.S. Army about their slogans? When I did that Twitch Rivals show, and I just don't understand what's your, I mean, I remember being all I could be in the Army. I remember being all for one, okay? Um, you know, all for one and one for all. You know, but I don't remember looking at what, what my warrior is. Um, Uh-oh. My uh, my CEO and, and brother in arms just texted me. <laughs> don't worry, he's got nothing better to do. He's watching the show. That's all he does. That's all he does at chess.com. We're, we're actually coordinating CrossFit classes tomorrow. I think I'm going to do it as well. I'm doing commentary, but... Likely, but likely I shall also join. Um, any hooters? Okay, what do we got here, Bob? We got uh, h7's falling, queen h5, g6, knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, queen takes. I did everybody with a bunch of checks, huh? Huh, Bob? I mean, I've sacrificed two pieces in that line, though, Carla. I don't know that you can get away with that type of sacrifice these days. This is, uh... This is a computer day and age, Carla, where these kids, uh, yeah, they got their engines, Carla. Carla, they've got their engines and they've got all their uh, their stockfishes and they're just they're playing computer chess these days, Carla. All right, we'll keep. I gotta play faster. Who is this guy? Do Deuce B. Um, Do Deuce B. How about you go double Deuce? You know. Yeah. Any hooters? Okay, Carla. All right, Bob. All right, checking in with my uh, my team. <laughs> LOL. That's just Simon saying something hilarious to me. I love that guy, Simon. For those of you who don't know, Simon is a real hoot, that guy. All right, he's uh, he's what I'm talking about. And he's actually from north of the border, so he's he's got a uh, Canadian accent. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Carla. Um... Love that guy, Simon. All right, I should probably take with the pawn. Because actually, splitting the board is going to help me with my 
completely unsound attack here, just like Simon Williams would want. The Ginger GM, you know what he wants. You know what he wants. He wants a completely unsound attack. All right, I got to calculate here. If Queen D3, G6, Queen D7, he's going to protect with the Queen. The end game is not my jam because the C3 pawn is the weakest Peshka on the board. Um, I could go Alpha 0 and, and sack the pawn, right? And then go H5. That's what my instincts tell me. Um, and you know what I you know what I usually do with my instincts, right? I, I here's the thing about instincts. You got them for a reason. Okay? You know, you got your instincts for a reason. A lot like those venereal diseases you picked up <laughs> uh, and the uh, the old uh, the old uh, you know you know you got you get everything you have in life you have for a reason so be careful with them that's all you know they got here for a reason anyway um, let's slide the queen over red rover oh yes no yes no yes N no yes yeah it's happening. Yeah, what's happening? Bill Lumberg here. Yeah, hi. I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Oh my god, I have 16 seconds. Holy shenanigans. I, I keep forgetting what it's like. You know? <gasps> okay, so mission failed to win every chess game I ever played. But that's how we. That's why we set new missions and goals. <laughs> okay, I got to start paying attention. I'm having so much fun hanging out with y'all. Um, watching chat criticize me say things like he's not supposed to say that um you know but this isn't the normal official welcome everyone to the international master speed chess championship or whatever i i would i would play an event like that i wouldn't commentate on it um but uh this isn't like that you know this is a little more of a cash a cash stream right get real cash is what we're doing here we're getting real cash up in this show. Sometimes you retreat the bishop in this opening, I learned. I was working with Nico today, prepping her for some pog champs. Yeah, we switched away from the birds because it's no good. Indeed. Um, indeed, indeed. You know? But these guys don't know what it's like. You know, I don't want to go whitey forward up in this, right? But then you really might know what it's like. What it's like. Yeah, then you really might know what it's like. What it's like. I seen a rich man beg. I see a good man sin. I seen a tough man cry. Bow, bow. I seen a loser win. I heard a sad man. I seen a sad man grin. I heard an honest man lie. Whatever. I seen the good side of bad and the downside of up, and I blacked out because your lyrics are not that creative. I licked the silver spoon, drank from the golden cup, and the finest. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about things like that on stream anymore. Um, okay, so I got to be careful here. Uh, this move is no good, but I do have queen e3 check, rook f2, and I take. So I'd like to get on the h file and stat. I'd like to get on that thing. I'd like to get on this thing and see what happens, right? Holy smokes, Carla. You've got a... Uh, oh, wait. If I take and he takes and I play a five, if I take, he's going to take with the bishop. So I'm just going to back up. That feels awkward. You know? It feels awkward. Ugh, but I think we can do this. I'm going to play a five. I'm going to try to not sacrifice anything unnecessarily. You know what I mean? He's going to put the knight on f2, but I have bishop g5 to follow. And the main thing is I settled on the idea that I could just kind of keep improving the position. All right, so I can win the exchange, but what's the rush? What's the rush? I might even double these cookies. Now, I've got 95 because the pawn is pinned. Does that get me anything? 95, queen e3, and then what? Not a lot of, not a lot of bing bong is what it gets me. But I might actually take with the knight, right? That feels good. Feels good to keep the bishop. 
does it? He's totally stuck, but he's being smart. 3-0 is different. Man, I gotta remember this. Note to self, 3-0 is different. You know what I mean? Dude is built different. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the pawn. Oh my god! Oh wait, no. Okay, I, yeah, I thought it was fine for some reason. I, I'm so used to blundering these days. I'm expecting myself to blunder on such a regular basis that it's scary. It's scary to see my own moves on the board. That's the level of self-doubt I'm living with. Legit, legit in therapy about it. Like no believe in joke. My, my, uh, I blundered this knight. Oh, he didn't see it the whole time. He's playing super fast. God. All right. Come on, Dan. Speed up, bro. Fall apart. This is no good. No good, everybody. All right. Well, what did he just do? <sighs> Got flagged ruthlessly. All right. I'm really going to focus now, chat. Chat, you're a Chad. And I'm going to focus. Here we go. I have got to pick up my game. The fun is over. We are now here. My son told me today that if I didn't win the event, he was disowning me. And when he says things, like, he's serious. Like, it's, like, it's scary. You don't even know what it's like to deal with a 15-year-old. I keep saying you don't know what it's like. I'm sorry for that. That sounds really, you know, self-righteous. Um, many of you probably do know what it's like. If he takes the pawn, he loses his knight. King b1 and c3 traps it. Yeah, the biggest issue is 3-0. I'm just, you know, it's it's about playing fast. No wonder Hikaru wins these things all the time. He's pretty fast, if you haven't gotten the memo on that. I'd like to keep his pawns on dark squares, right? A4, bishop e3. That would be a real... Whoa... I could even play b4, but he's going to play b5. Interesting. Okay, I'll play king up and let him take and give me this uh, two-on-one potential, right? We'll have this weak pawn here. I'll have a couple of pawns here. Put the bishop on b4, which actually makes some tactics on the king on e7 because I've got everybody piling up. So let's do that right away. You'll note the emphasis on the correct syllable that I'm placing this game, i.e. I'm playing faster. Um...
<sighs> okay. Is he actually going to take this pawn? That's an interesting question. I don't know that he should, but maybe I should play here anyway. I'm trying to keep these pawns, trying to keep these pawns uh, in check on dark squares. If g5 and everybody's traded. I can also take, and when he takes, I can play c4, right? I kind of like that idea. The knight is, is now officially irritating me. I probably shouldn't pre-move, just in case he doesn't actually take the way I anticipate. This is, uh, well... I'm going to get that outside pass pawn. You know it. I would love to just play b4 right now. If I play king a3 and he plays c3, and then I play rook c4, he plays c2, I can take, he takes, and then play rook c3. I think it actually works. Ah, but he's he's going after the d-pawn if I'm... Alright, I think I gotta go for this with the a-pawn. I'm all in on the a-pawn here, boys. I'm all in on the a-pawn here. Time. Time. There's no increment. Yeah, that's the correct move. We're all in on the A pawn here, boys. What's running rook A4? He missed it. Booyah. Booyah, boys. Come get some. Accelerate. With a very well... I mean, you know it's a good username when I can read it. Right? Because I went to the school for kids that don't read good. Okay? Alright, should I take d5 first? As long as my rook can stop the pawn. a7 there, king up, he takes, I take with the king. d4, king b6, d3, king c5, d2, I come back, e4, I stop him. Booyah. We win. Booyah. Um... I think this works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should have played the G-pawn up. I didn't actually realize that I was... Boom. <sighs> the technique lives. The technique lives. Can I get a noise? Can I get some noise, chat? Come on, chat. Be a chat. Ooh, Artem Sadovsky. Okay, very nice. Welcome to Mother Russia. Artem. Artem Sadovsky. Artem Sadovsky. Artem Sadovsky. Guys are saucy. Guys are saucy. Yeah, I made the real inappropriate parental move recently and let my boys see usual suspects. Here's the thing. Checked it out. A lot of profanity. A lot of language that they know much more than you would think, right? But no nudity, right? And even the violence is way lower than what they're used to seeing, right? So yeah, because I was referencing just like that. He's gone. By the way, way to go, RK Drano, for subscribing with Twitch Prime to the chess channel. Um, I said just like that. He's gone. And they were like, what? And I said, what? And they said, what? And I was like, what? They were like, what? And I'm like, you haven't seen The Usual Suspects? They're like, we're your kids. 
You know every movie you've seen. I'm like, that. you just passed the test. You just passed the test, you little muffins. You little, uh, you little, little butt muffins. You buffins. My kids are total butt muffins. These are true. These are true facts. Okay? My kids are total butt muffins. Yeah. So I said, uh, so I said, you haven't seen The Usual Suspects. And I about lost my proverbial bleep. And, and that's what happened. That's how that night went down. You know what we did? We rented The Usual Suspects on Amazon Prime. Okay? Which happens to be what that guy just subscribed with, Amazon Prime. Which is a totally inadvertent plug, but I'm really good at plugs. Which is why they have me take that role whenever the big chess events come. Them's be the facts. What in the world is going on here? Um... What in the world happens here? What happened here? I have these ideas. Look at this. My rook shall protect. Boom. Shalak. I'm threatening to take h7 and bishop takes g6 as lights out. I'm aware this attack might be unsound. I'm aware, right? Uh-oh. All right, we're just going to play that for now. It's time. Time is of the essence. Always, always be closing. The ABCs of chess. Always be closing. Okay. Knight f7 is super interesting. Bishop e5 check is super interesting. Knight takes h7 is interesting. And if takes, I take with the queen. He takes, and I still get g6. Ugh. This just feels good. Sometimes you go with what feels good, chat. Oh, always be checkmating. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Shout out to the Chess TV. I see you. Let's just be friendly. Modding the Chess TV chat. We appreciate you over there. Usual suspects is oh so overrated. Can someone ban that guy? Please, can someone ban uh, Squid Wardo? I'm kidding, but I'm not happy. Those, that is a true, uh, wait. The first time you see Usual Suspects, if you actually don't know the ending, it is not overrated, and you shush your mouth when you're talking to me. Um, it's just not true. Whatever. You guys are wrong. You guys are probably the kind of peeps that told yourself a story that you didn't know the ending of Usual Suspects, but actually you did because you had seen it somewhere on YouTube or someone had referenced it. And so you saw it and then you decided, wow, this movie's so overrated when in reality, you're overrated. You know what's not overrated? Forks. Forks are not overrated. Double attacks are not overrated. Okay? That's what's not overrated. Wait. Wait. Check and then take with the pawn is also pretty good, but why even do that? Just take this way. Um, oh, maybe that's why. I gotta watch the time. Sorry, I'm getting nervous about the clock because that's how I've been losing these games. Uh. How? How is this not just crushing him? Gosh, I'm trying too hard. I'm trying too hard to find the win.
Darn it. Darn it. Oh my gosh, if I had just taken the queen. That was bad. Like, how did he escape that? I would love to pause and actually figure out what happened, but I don't have time because it's Arena Kings and you got to play the next game. Oh man, that was frustrating. I have got to speed up or I'm never going to play Hikaru. How am I ever going to play Hikaru in this event if I can't put together a few wins in a row? It's a positional bind on the queen side, known as the pan up odd vinic. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. Okay, you don't gotta ask me if I use it or lose it. Okay, you don't gotta ask me that because I know how to use these pawns. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Let's do it. Here we go. E5 is the real Achilles heels to this structure, especially when he's got the dark squared bishop. I'm not a huge fan of the way I played this. I'd actually like to take the time to remove his knight from C4, but I'm, again, worried about E5. Tactically, he can't really get away with it right now, though, right? Um, oh, wow, that's a surprise and probably not a good move. I'm kind of playing... A little bit of prophylaxis, but also preparing to maybe play f4 and put the kibosh on e5. Did I do that? I did. I did. I put the kibosh on it, not to be confused with putting a ring on it or the Kaiser Soze on it. Neither of those things are the kibosh. Kaiser Soze. Kaiser Soze. Stop screaming at us, guy who's almost dead. You know? That's what everyone was thinking in the movie. Stop screaming at us, dude who's almost dead. Um, I'm really misplaying this. All right, hold on. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. 93, but he takes... Takes B1. Um, I don't like it, yeah? I don't really like it. I do like that I stopped E5. I do like that. And... If I could get knight e3, even there, I'm not even ready to take it, right? It's awkward. This is one of those weird positions. I think that was a... I believe that to be what they call a large mistake. I believe that's one of those moves you see in the chess.com game report that you wish you could have back. Um. Okay. Yeah, g5 makes sense. He's trying for e5. It all makes sense in my world. I'm going to double down on this B file, though. Get some double Bs. Now he backs up. We'll take it. And now we can offer the trade because we're actually threatening to take, take, and there's no discovered check. I think this is okay for me. He's playing very fast, which makes me, which makes me nervous. I'm such a nervous Nelly today. I'm going to push it. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. If I take, he'll play d4. Push him, baby. Push him, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on now, push him, baby. Yo, push him, baby. I believe this is the guy. What we have here is ideas inside of ourselves. I am your old Uncle Sasha. And when you get your ideas out of you, Sometimes this is what happens. What we have here is before it's a chest. He gives this check. This is his idea. But what exactly does he do next, right? He checks, and I put the king here. And we all laugh in the face of danger. That's what we do. That's what we do. Crab cakes and football. That's what Maryland does. Mm, I can play rook f1. I could have played 
queen b3, and if he takes, play there, and I still could have got out of the checks, but this is the most accurate move, I believe. Leave it to Beave. Leave it to Beave. In theory, this should be a small problem for him. Let's go. Let's go. JKA Russia. I'm number 309 of 1,000 people. That puts me in the top percent. <laughs> okay, I know how pathetic I sound. You don't have to tell me how pathetic I sound, Carla. All right? My kids tell me every day. Okay? Don't have to tell me about that, Carla. Go, Packers. We lost to the Bucks. Uh... I was uh, real disappointed in uh, my uh, my boy Aaron Rodgers. Uh, the Packers, you know, uh, it's not the kind of thing that makes me proud for uh, having proposed to the misses on Lambeau Field. Okay, I uh, Carla and I, you know, we uh, we tied the knot on old Lambeau. You know, it's uh, a team owned by the fans. They tell you that. You know how you know Lambeau is owned by the fans because the fans will tell you. Okay, Carla, and uh, uh, what do you mean this is weird without music? You're weird without music. Just kidding, I love you. Don't go anywhere, please. Uh, what's up? Let's just be friendly. Um, and uh, yeah, what's going on over on YouTube, by the way? Um, people seem to be happy to be here. We've got about 400 of you. Okay. Uh, okay, I can win the bishop pair by putting the knight on uh, c4, right, Carla? I can also just reinforce. Yeah, let's re. Uh, oh, wait, now I'm slipping. Am I slipping into a. Uh, where am I from right now? Am I from Southie or am I from, uh, uh, you know, South Dakota and having moved to uh, Lambo? Um, <gasps> wait, that doesn't do anything. I always get so freaked out when people play moves I don't see because I assume I'm the idiot. This is what it looks like to feel like you're the idiot all the time. You're looking at it. And every once in a while, I'm not the idiot. Okay, Carla? Okay, how... Did everyone get the memo to play the Kiro Khan today? Because what in the world is going on? Like, how many Carol Cons have I faced? I mean, seriously, right? Who passed out the memo? Are they going to start playing the London and then someone's going to call Levy Rosman and say, hey, uh, we need a YouTube video on this? <laughs> oh, man. L O L or snaps, right? L O L or snaps. Okay, boys. If anyone's wondering where they can get a sweet tea, like chess.com tea here, trying to model that pawn, uh, you can't because these are staff on me. LOL. That's such, oh, that was a cruel joke, Dan. Oh, you really got us good on that one. This way nobody likes you. Actually, there's a lot of other reasons no one likes you. Um, but we do have a Teespring merch store, I think. I should probably ask my team what I'm supposed to promote these days, Garlic, because I lose track of it. Um, this is one of the levels of Dante's Hell? That's hilarious. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did I mess up? Maybe, wait. In this line, can he really do this? What's funny about these positions is that often, even if you didn't play the exact theory in Ziskiro Khan, what you have here is very tricky. Hudinovich... Hudinovich is, uh, well, he is from uh, Canada, which is, uh, is uh, America's hat, and it is a very good-looking hat. Uh, Canada is um, where these guys go to hang out uh, with the hosers. At uh, Canada, okay, I also have this h4 move, reinforcing this guy, and now knight e4 is coming here. We have this trade. I get battery, I hit at seven, I have this move here coming, and I have the file, I have c7, I have so much happening here. Okay, I have this guy, 
Man, I haven't been able to be myself on the chess channel in quite some time. Left. Because most of the time when I'm, you know, on the chess channel, I'm hosting an official broadcast and property of some kind, which requires a slightly different tone of being. Um, I hope you guys are having fun. Okay, if 94 takes, queen takes, f5, I have to move the lady. Okay, this file is still mine if I have ideas of wanting it, but I'm not sure I have ideas of wanting it. So I put this guy here, and what I have here is a uh, development lead, and I uh, have what what I was saying is even if you lose uh, the pawn inaccurately, it's still very tricky for him to figure out this de development. You have this move. You have the bishop under the eyes of the rook. You have this guy coming right here. Oh, very nice. It's a very good queen here. He makes a good move here, for sure. He has good ideas inside of him. They are coming out. All of his good ideas are coming out of him. I'm not happy about this. Okay, what we have here? I have small time advantage still. This is important. Can I go all in with absolute uh, rubbish here? With ideas of getting inside of him over here on the king's side. Is this something I can get away with what you guys think here I also have this move which adds some pressure points over here because if he develops oh very nice he has he has these ideas what goes here what goes here why don't we put the lady here what do you think guys what do you think guys okay if I move the bishop, he has other development problems here. So we go this guy. And we have threats possibly on this guy here. If we can make it happen, Captain. If we can make it happen, Captain. This is what these Americans say all the time. Ooh, look at this guy. He did not see this coming. Because now he... Wait, what? Okay, I guess he is right. I am wrong, as usual. He gets in the game. He's a very sneaky guy, this guy. Okay, I have only one chance, and it is draw. If I make quick moves, I have this idea. All right. guys can hear that that's my kids <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear it. it's pretty funny they're yelling at each other about something I don't know I stopped paying attention to what they were saying years ago you know kids can't live with them there you go that's that that's the end of that saying uh, he is very fast this guy Hudinovich, this guy's very fast. I have not many good feelings about him. I not like him. This is what I have to say about this. Darn it. All right, you guys getting sick of the Russian accent? All right. How's it going, everybody? I um, am not happy about... I don't think I'm playing that bad overall. I think I need to speed up. I think that if I can get on a run, we know how Arena Kings works. If I can get on a run... Then I can get some of those, what do they call them? The streaking points. Yo, we're going streaking through the gymnasium. We're going to go streaking later on, if you guys are into that. Um, if I can if I can go streaking, then I have a chance, right? You're saying there's a chance. That's what I'm saying. We're going streaking, and that's what I'm saying. Okay. I just have to instantly play this move and assume that bishop 65 doesn't work. You've got to be kidding me, right? I mean, he's sacrificing a piece, and for what? 
Right. Dippity doo bop. Dippity doo bop. Dippity doo bop. Bop 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 That was not as good as I, as I would have liked. Yeah. I just sacks a piece and I gave it right back. A miscalculation. Do I have any chance in this game? Or how does Arena Kings work? Should you just resign in these cases and restart the old uh, the old engine? Is that what you're supposed to do? Um, I don't know the meta, as the kids say. I'm not into the meta. Okay. <sighs> All right. Nope, next game. I'm switching away from the scotch, FYI. Not the drink. <laughs> Don't you question that. Don't you, uh... Um, it's a weird line. The way he played it, I'm enticed to to go for like a really traditional looking development here, you know. And put the knight in. This feels like I should have something tactically to like justify this. So that's what I'm going on. No counterplay for you. Not happening. Not gonna, not gonna, not gonna, not, not gonna work here anymore. Okay? Now I want to talk to you about a guy named Peter. This guy has upper management material written all over him. I can't tell if I actually want him to play c5 or not. I guess I should, because then d5 really isolates the pawn, right? So I guess I kind of do. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I think I should take and take. Feels good. Feels good, man. Speaking of scotch, you guys mind if I partake in just a little bit? Is that is that a is that a legal thing to do here? <laughs> On the chess channel. It is it is after dinner time for me and um you know, every once in a while. 
I may or may not partake okay, in a responsible manner. Um, you know. Yeah, I should just play rook f1 and get out. Right, rook f1, takes, takes, check, king up, rook f2, check. It's actually kind of irritating, so why do it? I'm still way up on time. He's threatening bishop of two check, but so what? Right? Bishop of two check, I move the king, and his next move is? I don't exactly know. If he plays rook f2, I have rook g6. Maybe I should have played rook g6 last move, because now he might have h5, h4. Okay, he didn't do it. I can play rook c5 and kick him back, but this move also seems good. Um, right? Like, what's he doing? I never know what he's doing. I believe this should do the trick. I believe that should do the trick. My rook ending videos are good. Thank you, Polo9999. Appreciate that. Okay, I don't think that's going to help too much. So I'm going to take there, and he's going to resign. And we're going to play the next match. Sometimes you just get the feeling. Like you just know when they're going to resign, right? Here they go. Here they go with that London. Um... Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm actually totally okay with this. This is all just like, go ahead. Come and get me, big boy. You expand that center. You do what feels good to you, right? Um... take it we're gonna open this thing up because we have the bishop pair and they don't and there is no queen e4 this isn't your favorite London chess is very fun one two six four this ain't your grandpa's London huh this ain't Levy Rosman's London all right or you're a god mature you know and uh well he puts the bishop on the b5 square and uh well, uh, Fabi, 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 Fabiano Caruana is, uh, well, he's number two in the world. Uh, thank you, Antonio. Um, okay. Um, B5 and C4 is certainly possible. It actually feels better than I thought it would. Ooh, knight D6, though. I actually did not anticipate that. Because if takes twice, he had bishop H7 in the end. So this is slightly less than ideal, but I have this move knight takes E5. Right? Knight e5. If knight b5, I take f3 with check. Knight e5, knight e5, bishop d6. If queen e4, I have g6. Knight e5. If knight f7, I take here. If knight b5, I take with check and then win the piece. If knight e5, queen e4 right away, I take with check. He takes with the pawn and I have g6 in the end. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Aqua, you should share the uh, God Mator video. Um, that was, uh, it was actually, uh, Antonio's awesome. I really, I really like Antonio and, uh, really glad he's recovering well from his health stuff and doing his thing. Um, but we had a really fun time and he actually knew I was going to do an impersonation of him and, uh, and put it on his channel as if it was him, which was awesome. All right. If Bishop takes, does he have Bishop H7, King takes, Queen H5, check and Knight G5? What a baller. What a baller. He's trying to trick me. But guess what, bro? I'm taking with the rook. Y'all just got cooked. It doesn't work now, dude. Yo, your trick doesn't work now anymore. Because if check moves knight g5, I kept my bishop on the square. It only worked if I took with the bishop. I'm no scientist, but uh, I do hear a uh, yeah, burrito upstairs uh, calling my name here. Uh, my wife, uh, we, uh, we had a lot of errands today, so we threw on some beans. Um, burritos for dinner. I love a good homemade burrito. Um, 
but uh, I am kind of hungry, actually. I guess I'll defend. If he plays rook d1, I can actually take. He takes here, and I take with check. I get two rooks for the queen, and I back that thing up. Now I have bishop f6, right? Bishop f6 looks good. Bishop f6, queen h5 check, king over. Bishop f6, I don't see any problems with this. So we make it happen. Captain. And the bishop also guards the square. I actually had to be more accurate than I thought. This position was potentially not very fun for me. Although surprisingly fun for chess is very fun. One, two, six, four. Um, stop all your mating threats before you go get wrecked. Yo, stop all your mating threats before you go get wrecked. We have a company-wide all-hands-on-deck meeting tomorrow for chess.com. Um, and uh, we are confirming details and logistics about this. I can take and play h6. It's a little tricky. Okay, take, queen takes. I also have f6 and slide over. If... I can also just play g6. And if check, I slide over. And his knight is still hanging, right? We'll just do that. Yeah. All right, not a lot of time, guys. I'm totally winning, but I keep forgetting what this 3-0 Arena Kings is all about. It's about bringing the troops home. Boom. Oops. Shenanigans, boys! Get some! Get some! Uh. <gasps> oh, it's Krieko! What's up, dog? Everybody, it's Krieko! I told him... I told him in an email today that I was going to destroy him. <clears throat> Let's just say I'm a little nervous about delivering on that promise right now. Currently, slightly nervous about delivering on said promise to destroy my boy, Krikor. We've got a little bit of a hedgehog here, huh? A little bit of a hedgehog is what we've got. He's playing fast because he knows what these events are all about. These events are about the time management that you that you do or don't have. And I'm learning that as we go here. As we go, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Um, At least in terms of the time management, right? Stop in the name of love. Before you break my heart, stop in the name of love. Before you break my heart. Stop all your mating threats 
Before you go, get wrecked. I don't know what Creeper's doing. I feel like that was weak sauce. I'm not going to lie. Keeping that pawn was key because if mb2, queen b2, bishop uh, g7 to pin, he had f6. So now I make this trade happen here and I put this guy here and I have these ideas inside of me. And I'm very happy about them. All right. Um, I don't know exactly what he's doing anymore. Oh my God, I have got to figure out my back support. You hear that? There's a bunch of hippos upstairs. My boys running around like crazy. I have got to get myself a chair, a gamer's chair. Supposed to be on the way from our sponsor, but you know, they've been saying that for like years, like cuties bot. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Um, if queen c5 takes, takes, trades here, rookie one, who's better in that endgame? It's super hard to tell. Um, I'd also like to play b5 and just open up more f files. I, I, I'm definitely better, so it's one of those hard positions. You're pushing with an advantage against a grandmaster. You don't want to overpress, but it's definitely a good position for black. A misplayed Queen's Indian slash hedgehog by my boy Krikor. As much as I love the guy, these are, these are the facts. These are the facts. Black is better here. You know what we'd love to do? We'd love to have something over here, Billy Blue. Where's he going to put the knight if I just back that thing up? He's going there. I can even take and play bishop e5. What an interesting sacrifice that might be. I'm not going to do it because it's unnecessary. And I can just put the bishop on e5 right away, I think. But it was interesting to take and play bishop e5. g3 would have been weak. Wait a second. Can I take and play queen check? Should I take now and bring the queen in? The exchange stack is so interesting. If I take and play check and he moves and then I put pressure, I'm better in the end game, am I not? Maybe I'm not. But I kind of think I have to do this anyway and play b4 to, to fix the pawns. Okay, we're better here, guys. We're better here. Whoa, really? Ah, misplayed. I did. Ugh. Queen. No, you gotta be just shot. What kind of move is that? Ah, say, ah, I should have just played Queen C one because I knew I could take it, but D one was mate in two, and then Queen B one. It's mate in two, boys. It was mate in two. Ah, oh. I'm not happy. What in the freaking Krikor? Oh man, you should be ashamed of yourself. Go and beat your boss like that. <laughs> man. Oh. Zay. Mmm. Zay. Yay. I'm not happy about this. I am not happy. Pay that man his money. 
pay that man his money. Krikor. Bola Sovetkia. Sovietika. Bola Sovietika. Bola Sovietika. Sovietika. Don't mind if I do, love. Right? I'll take it. I've got it right here. In it, right? That's a nice little space advantage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, right. By the way, watch out for an IG5. I might hit that F7 pawn. Boa Soviet. Sovietica. Boa Sovietica. Okay. Play a nice little slow move. Patience, young Padawan. I'm digging the Italian. You know what's interesting about the Italian I've learned? It's better than the Scotch. That's what I learned. Shocking, I know. Shocking. Wait here. Um, there's Rook A7 in a lot of these positions. What's he going to take with? Okay. This is a seventh rank, and I'm not going to apologize for it. I am not going to apologize for what might or might not happen to your queen side here. Now we go get this square. I would love to do something nasty like take and take and do some wild, wild and crazy guys. That's actually a really good move by me. Hits this move. And it also prepares this. Okay, well, it's a little surprising. If I take everything, in the end, I have this move queen e7. Pretty hard for him to deal with that, right? I think so. Miss this? Darn it.
Oh, wow. That was a cute little trick by him. It's going to be a draw. Darn it. I messed that up. Ooh, that was frustrating. Should have got that one, boys. Should have got that one. Ah, where did it go wrong? Oh, look at that. I'm playing the monster. The thirsty monster. Isn't that the best? I know this kid. I recruited him to stream on chess.com. I, I was following his stream this summer when my family was on vacation. We were kind of driving around, socially distanced from all. Don't worry. But took advantage of the lack of school infrastructure. and We drove around some, and one night on Twitch, we were at some Airbnb, and I was just like browsing browsing uh, the uh, the old streamers and found this kid and said, Hey, you should join the Chess.com streamers program, buddy. So, um, it's been hard. I haven't been able to stay in touch with him. Just super busy. Got a lot going on, but he's awesome. You should go check out his channel. No joke. Go check out the Thirsty Monster. Okay. He's fast, though. Although, apparently not right now. I mean, I'm in 288th place. I've only got 15 points. So maybe this is where I start getting some easier games to mount a comeback, right? Although I would always say don't call it a comeback. Right? I've been here for years. Put the knight on e4. We've got g3 under the observation. Actually, we'll just go get a big center. Let's just do it. Let's grab that center and ask questions later. Right? Let's shake what our mamas gave us, boys. And girls, by the way. I keep saying boys. Because everyone always says boys, you know? All these, uh, all these chatters on Twitch. So I got used to it. I'm typically very, um, you know, gender neutral in my speech. Um, all right, boys and girls. Here we go, boys and girls. G6. We also got B4. I don't think he's going anywhere, so let's roll. Let's roll. This is a minority attack when you got two Peshki versus three, right? You use the open pressure that affords your pieces, because by definition, when you have less, you have more of something else, which is space and files. And that's how it rolls. I can play d4 and just kind of open up the position against this king. I'm not sure he's really threatening to take anything on d5 anyway, but if d4 takes everything, he moves the queen. I don't know if I'm super thrilled about it, so let's kick the knight first. I still have d4 as an option, but we can also just sort of build up buttercup. Maybe I should take with the rook. He's playing very well. Seriously, Thirsty. Thirsty is playing well. No jokes. E4 is coming. Ooh, he allows it. I don't think he should have allowed that. I think now it's going to start to get tough. Because now we be grinding. Right? Now we've got pressure to go with the fun. We're going to stay patient. Bring reinforcements into the pressure. Get a passer. 
Put a pony on it. Push him, baby. Take him, baby. Take him. And we got it. All right, next match. Am I allowed to get water? I mean, it's a two-hour countdown. I assume I can do anything I want because it's only as well as I'm going to play. Who we got here? The Big Boss. The Big Boss 04. I'm playing a Nimzo Indian, the fun kind. I love this line. Here we go. Let's show these. Let's show these peeps some theory. No, wait. Hold the phone. I don't think that's good for you. I don't think that's good for you. I forget about it, but I also don't think it's good for you. I'm gonna talk like this. I'm gonna talk like this. I don't think that's good for you. I'm gonna go get that rook. I'm gonna go get that rook. I'm gonna go get that rook. Okay, very nice. What's he want? He wants my lady, yeah? He wants my lady. Play a five to kind of give her some breathing room, right? Give her the old escape route. If takes, we shake and bake on the F5, boys and girls. Stay hydrated, Danny. Thank you, Mark. That that might be one of the nicest comments I've ever gotten from YouTube. I'm not going to lie. Mark, you might have just redeemed my belief that YouTube chats can be awesome. YouTube chat has actually been really awesome tonight. I dare say they might be the best chat right now. I know, I know, it like makes everyone who will self-righteously die for Twitch, even though you get nothing out of saying Twitch is better than YouTube. I'm reminding most of you that. Um, that might shock you, but I think YouTube has maybe been the best chat tonight. YouTube chat has been, uh, they've been productive, they've been engaged. They've been noticing that I'm about to get my queen trapped, so that's helpful. Um, uh oh. <laughs> this is an interesting line he's playing, huh? Apparently, this guy knows what he's doing. And maybe that shouldn't come as a as a shock. I'm not. I'm not shocked. I'm not. I'm. I'm teasing. I'm just saying. Apparently, this guy knows what he's doing. Like no joke. Because it looks like he planned this all along. Do I need to play ninety seven and give up this and put the knight on d five? He has knight there, but I get bishop d7. I do have two rooks for the queen, although they're just not the best two rooks. I can also take there. He takes here. I defend the knight, but he's got queen c7. I'm running off the deep end here. Um, all right, I'm going to try to keep it closed. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Great game, Thirsty Monster. Thanks for the bits to the chess channel. Great game. It was a great game. You played incredibly well. You really did. Um, and uh, really, it was just the time pressure that had you kind of... Which, I've been there all day if you were watching the show. You should be streaming. Although, maybe that's uh, maybe that's your dad running the, uh, the chat. I don't know, because I know you're busy streaming. So, that sounds like good networking. Smart move by dad. But yeah, I ran this position off the rails. Jumped off the deep end without looking. I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in, far from the shallows now. Far from the surface, where they can't hurt me. Do, 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 do. Lady Gaga. She's real good. She's real good at what she does, that Lady Gaga. Star is born. Real sad movie. Dug it. I dug it hard. Bradley Cooper, what a talent. James Montemagno with the sub. Are you kidding me? Right? Um, I know that guy. I'm not playing well this game, James. You subbed at the wrong time, eh, bud? Uh, I, uh, it's not going well for me here, buddy. Wow. So, what in the bleep happened here? Far from the surface Where they can't hurt us 
Do, 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 do. Um, oh, I feel like this guy knew the line somehow. So either he just recently looked it up, or, you know, I don't, I mean, this guy, this guy was remembering some theory here. I gotta know what to do in that position, Carla. You know what I'm talking about? I don't even know what to say. I gotta look at that later, okay? Thank you very much. Um, all right, here we go. But we're on a roll, guys. If we can do it, if we can put together a few wins in a row, we can get some points and we can get into those top standings again where we have a chance to play the big boys. The big boys of the Arena Kings Arena. Right? That's what we want. I'll tell you what we want. Tell me something, boy. Oh, you always try to fill that void. Or do you need more? Aren't you tired of living so hardcore? I'm falling. And in the good times, I find myself longing. For change. Thank you, Lady Gaga. Do, 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 do. I'm off the deep end. Watch as I dive in. I fall from the judgment. You're not mine now. I am Pearl Jerome. Just do. do. Oh, right. Ain't that real nice? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. We might be able to turn this around against the Meta Chess one. Okay, very nice. Let us go. Let's get this guy. Here we go. Thirsty Monster asking me if I got his... Well, he, he threw some bits and we played. So, honestly, again, I don't even answer my messages these days. We literally... I've, I've caused bugs in our server because I have thousands of plus messages. But you're in the streamer program, buddy. Like, literally, they it can't even... A thousand plus is what it's capped at visually. I have, like, more than 3,000 messages. And that is... It's not a flex at all. This is just the truth, guys. Like, we're a huge site now. And I get a lot of... So... We're actually thinking about maybe getting me a secretary or something, someone who's going to answer all those. Um, so I'm not ignoring you. That's the good news, okay? Um, the bad news is no, I have not gotten your message, Thirsty Monster, but I do love you. Um, love your stream. And I also can tell you that uh, we've, we're, we're going you know, to start working through some messages here pretty soon. And... Um, but you're you're on the stream program. You can reach out to, to Chris on Slack and he'll give you my email. All right, I gotta focus here, Thirsty. This is the truth. Um oh, crap, how did I mess this up? Thirsty, you distracted me! <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, it's not your fault. It's no one's fault but mine, ever. It's always my fault. And in the good times, I find myself longing for a change. Yeah, I messed this up. <laughs> Thanks, James. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, I had an idea that would maybe bring me an attack here, but it's not working. Darn it. I'm falling apart here, boys and girls. Boys and girls. We're falling apart. Um, Hit the ground. 
Sorry, guys. Once I think of a Lady Gaga song, I gotta sing it. That's that's the word with Gaga, because she's the best. But yeah, I was super impressed with Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born, right? As we all were. As we all were. I'm actually in a good position now, but I know the time. Oh, it's frustrating. I'm like going for some like wild mate because it's the only chance I have. <sighs> Stop with the mouse, bro. He's made it. If I can just get this done. Oh, that guy took advantage of my need to pre-move because I have no time and I was coming to come back. I was coming back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what happened? Ah, oh, come on. I know the crowd's rooting for me and I love you guys for it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I, pre I do. I appreciate you. All right. Okay, what do I got here? There's a lot of good players in this event. I mean, that, that's the truth, right? Really? You're really going to take that pawn, huh? Really? Really? All right, fine. I know there are discoveries here on my night. Really? I guess I gotta be careful now. Queen d4 is coming. Alright, time to offer the trade. Thankfully, I have my bishop here, so there's no knight g4. Otherwise, that could have been a real problem. That could have been a real problem. Oh my god! Oh my god, Tully! I, uh, I can't take it anymore! Honey! Honey! I need to get my knight here. Um. How do I do that? That's a painful move, but the bishop and the problems were becoming more real than ever. Ah, he has bishop takes of seven. Ah, darn it, I wonder. Trying to see if there's any possible way to play this on. It doesn't seem to look good. So, okay, then you resign. All right. This is going to be tough. You know, tough, tough, tough stuff. Yeah, for all those of you who haven't checked out our podcast yet, where have you been? It's quite literally where the cool kids are hanging, guys and gals. Do I want a world championship match between Magnus and MVL? I think that would be awesome. You all know that I love Maxime. He is my boy. And uh, I would love to see him to have a chance at the king. Is that the David Pakman here hanging with us? The one and only? I don't even know what they define 
guys like him in his role, political content streamer creator dudes. Anyway, but I only think of him as a Pog Champs 2 participant. Hey there. Hey there, David Backman. Welcome to the show. Uh, um, and then, all right. All right, so I won a game. Let's go, everybody. It's time for some revenge on the big boss. Am I right? Oh, that guy was busted, and I lost on time. We all know that's what happened. Okay, that's what happened. Don't let the story be any different, right? That's the story, Morning Glory, and I'm telling it like it is right here, right now. Odd Miller, O.D. Miller, O.D. Miller, O.D. Miller, O.D. O.D. Miller. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so awesome. I think that's O.D. Miller. I don't know why. I'm weird. Um, in case you haven't figured that out by now. Should I go all in here, Carla? Or should I just play it safe, huh? I think I have these ideas to play it safe, actually. Now that we are here. Because my king on this side of the board not he has worries about this guy. Alright. It's one of those weird positions where I'm going to have odd compensation. It's nothing like concrete, um, but it's super tricky for him. For example, okay, he can't move the queen because e7 falls. I'm threatening bishop b6. My knight on d5 is a friggin' beast, right? Dude's a unicorn. Get your horns out, right? Um, and I can, I can, ooh, I can also play knight b6, take here, and take e6, right? Queen takes, takes everything. So this is it's a very tricky position for him. And uh, I can play like natural moves. The, the thing about this type of compensation you have to be very careful about though is that um, it's sort of tender in that I have no like concrete compens... Like there's no like doubled pawns for him or, you know, um, some other form of like a positional weakness that I can bank on long term, right? So it's all about the initiative, which means you have to be accurate the entire time. You have to keep the pressure or it will dissipate, right? So that's the thing about this type of comp dump. It's a great position. Um, but what the right way is to convert is another question. The big boss. He's all in on g5, right? I mean, this is, this is, now he's going to maybe even play f5 or f6, right? And that's like, I mean, if he pushes the f pawn, I'm like, come at me, girl. Come at me, girl. Right? Come at me, girl. If you want this, I got the digits, baby. Oh, yeah. This guy is very, very nice. I have him in my sights. Um, this is super tough. As Dude, I'm flexing on the big boss right now. Let's go, right? And you should have won Tata Steel, though. Agreed with YouTube. Uh, but yeah, I would love to see an MBL Magnus World Championship. Because Maxime's my boy. I think I think Maxime's style is really interesting. Maxime beat Magnus in the Speechless Championship. There's a reason he was able to pull that off. All right. I don't think you saw this. I told you I had it. I told you I had it like that. I told you I had it like that. Okay, I'm up the exchange. How to best convert. Rook here is one way, and then I can take a check. No, but then he's got knight there. I should just... All right, I'm just going to sit tight because he's still in a really awkward spot. We're going to bring the rook up. Um, I should have just doubled rook's last move. He's going to sack the other exchange. No, he's not. I'm just going to take it then. We're going to simplify this position. 
and keep the bind alive. Oh man, time, 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 time. Oh. What am I doing? It's the time. I can't keep up on the clock. Ugh. I, that really, really sucked. Position is so totally winning. I shouldn't have sacked the exchange back, though, huh? Seemed unnecessary. Oh, man. I've beaten... I've, I've outplayed the big boss twice now. But it's... I gotta speed up. I gotta speed up. Bishop takes d6 was winning at some point. Boa Sovietica. Boa Sovietica. We've played this guy before. Wow. That's a weird line, huh? Clearly, he seems to know it, and I don't. I'm going to go for this. Seems logical enough. I know he has this trick on a4. But I'm wondering if there's any kind of, like, tactics I can pull off in the meantime. He takes first, and then gives the check. Which makes sense. I can check or play knight to b4. I can also castle long and rush the f the h pawn. I choose the latter. I choose the latter. Okay, that's a good move. If I take, he fixes his structure. That was a strong move. If I don't, he's gonna double rooks. I feel like I wanna take here, but he's gonna take with the F pawn and then this guy will be a little more tender, right? But I may not have a choice at this point. think I do. Taking and take here. See you later, Aquaman. <laughs> you like this singing? You want me to sing a little Frozen, little Elsa? Elsa? I Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me.
Okay. Interesting. Oh my god, that was nasty by him. That was sick. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't just win. <laughs> That's painful. If I had taken, he was mating me. That was that was very well played. Very nasty. Very nasty. But like I said, I'm nothing if I'm not lucky. I think I can just take. He checks and I run out. I think he just miscalculated that. It's no longer mate, buddy. Boom. Awkward. That feeling when you think your queen sack worked for two moves in a row. I don't care, man. Doesn't matter. Just give me it. Give it to me. Here we go. We got to build on this. One win at a time. We've got to build on it and get a streak going. It's our only chance. We've got to go streaking through the gymnasium, and you can bring your green hat. It's our only chance. We got to build on this, right? We gotta build on it. Do you wanna build a snowman? Or ride our bikes around the halls? I think some company is overdue. I've started talking to the pictures on the wall. Hang in there, Joe. It gets a little lonely. All these empty rooms. What is he doing? I mean, really? We're building a streak while Elsa builds a snowman. That's what we're doing here. We're going streaking here. Ford Moises. Moises Ford is this guy here. Wow. This guy is all in to win. I will tell you that much, right? I feel like I'm just about to get a ton of material for the queen, though. But I'll hand it to him. He's playing super fast, right? There we go. Yeah. Just 
Oh, Moises. Moises is going to get me because of the clock. So I'm just going to save it. I'm going to save the knight and let him get my queen because I can't see anything better to do. Not exactly the way I thought he was going to do that. Hmm, that was a mistake by me. But he missed it, he could have played bishop takes c5. Wait, what? Oh! Darn it, blew it! That was painful, man! What happened there? Yeah, Rook takes d7 was a mistake. For sure. I gotta see that one. Rook takes d7 was a mistake, but I definitely have enough for the queen here. I mean, honestly, even just like, I should just play smart, like king h2. And then like, lock it up. Lock it up. Yeah. Uh, well, again, that's why, that's why it's blitz. That's why this is tough. Thank you, Riddler, for the bits for the chess channel. Um... I mean, my, my comments regarding the uh, Ali Reza situation are, are what the uh, pretty much what the organizers said, right? I think they know. I think they know that you know it wasn't it wasn't handled perfectly. I don't think there was anything malicious going on. And uh, sorry for not giving you more exciting content than that. I think it was I think it was not handled the best way, and they know it and they acknowledged it, right? Um, as a chess player, we've all been in situations like that where like things start happening in the room that are super distracting and it's really unfair and it just sucks, to be honest. So, I think Ali Reza's future is bright and will not be tainted by one event um, at uh, one event at Tata Steel. I'll say that for sure. Why did I take that second pawn? That was unintentional. The second pawn was not meant to be taken. I know better. Uh, I don't know. Simply swindling, it's a great question. I don't know which youngsters I'm most excited about. Wow. What I'm most excited about might be like figuring out my chess here because I am falling apart at the seams. Crazy town. They don't call it the poison pond for nothing, huh? Um. And chat and 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 the arena kings, you get paired by strength of opponent first. And then standing second. And there's an algorithm that expands the pairing based on wait time because you don't want anyone waiting, right? The most painful thing that we all hate is clicking play chess and we have to wait. Can we agree on that? No matter what, no one wants to wait to get a good game. So the algorithm is designed to look for an opponent that is close to your rating range so that everyone continues to play against people that are their rating and going to have fun, get good games. And then it expands, and it's, the band slowly gets closer and closer between valuing rating less and valuing standings more as the waiting goes, which happens like every second, pretty much. So if that explains our algorithm, I hope it does. That's how it works. <laughs> Most painful thing is when you take the early flight over from San Diego. Um, will you send me a tweet because you get a diamond membership? 
That is hilarious. <laughs> what a great reference. And well-timed, sir. Well-timed. I will give that to you. All right. What is going on here? This knight is just hanging here. He's just laughing at me. <laughs> Our algorithm is stupid and it banned you. Well, you know what? You probably deserved it. I'm going to be honest with you with a comment like that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I've gotten back in it. In fact, I can take here and win it. I'm up a piece, right? But I can also move right here because where's he going? If he takes, I trade and I'm up a whole rook. Now he's stuck. Take a look at that. Right? Your name on chess.com is chess.com. Thank you, Chessmate Geek. You know what? Teaching is my passion. Chess happens to be the main thing I am most qualified to teach, I would guess. Right? But I love I loved teaching. Um, look at that. All right. We're going to get a dub here, boys. We are going to get a dub. It's going to happen, and then we're going to get another dub. And from here on out, from this moment forward, we will win every chess game we play. Wait, I'm running out of time. Oh, man, has it already been two hours? I thought I still had, like, another run in me. Like, I, I thought this whole time that I was going to get... Okay, wow. That happened fast, right? That's going to leave a mark. All right, we'll play the tradish. The old school traditional Maroxy bind. Ooh, he allowed it. He's not supposed to allow that there. Hence why he is pausing 10 seconds for station identification on the chess.com radio network. Make the switch to On Juno and earn 5% cash back on Amazon, Netflix, DoorDash, and so many more. All your favorite brands are on, on Juno. Juno, also a great movie. What is he doing? Now this is not what I expected here. I guess that was a duh moment. A duh moments. Not brought to you by On Juno. Brought to you by Danny Wrench. You ever have a duh moment? Where in hindsight something seemed pretty obvious and that you weren't that smart for doing it? We get a lot of those at here over here on chess.com. This duh moment brought to you by Danny Wrench. Because, well, duh. There you go. This dub moment brought to you by Danny Wrench's Chess Games. You ever feel like you're playing chess and you're trying real hard? And you just can't seem to find the best moves. And every time something happens on the board, in hindsight, it seemed obvious. It makes you want to say, duh. Welcome to Chess.com by Danny Wrench. This dub moment makes me want to... <laughs> Uh, I do have a YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Daniel Wrench. Please go to there. Go to youtube.com slash Daniel Wrench. Seriously, right now, everybody, go hit that subscribe button. There you go. All right, this is going to be super rough, to be honest, because even though he blundered the exchange, I blundered before he did. Um...
Tricky business. laughing in the face of double check. Oh, duh. <laughs> this duh moment brought to you by Danny Wrench. Very nicely played by him. I will not lie. I like good chess and I will not lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a game is played with very few mistakes... You want to get some. Other brothers got none. I'm just freestyling over here. I like good chess and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a game is played with very few mistakes, and it's right there in your face, you get... I like good chess and I cannot lie. Uh yeah. I like good chess and I cannot lie. Other brothers can't deny. When a game is played with very few mistakes, and it's right there in your face. With no pieces hung. Man you want some. I should just like quit everything on chess.com and start writing chess raps where I take famous rap songs and rewrite the lyrics for chess. I just made that up off the cuff. <laughs> Tommy wishes he had half that talent. Not even, I mean, honestly, you got more talent right here, Tommy. <laughs> just kidding. Welcome, buddy. Where you been? Everyone, everyone's missed you. Everyone's been talking about you, Tommy, because you're such a positive presence. Hey, YouTube, you've been great. You've been incredible, YouTube. Gosh, I wish there was a mate there. Take care, check. If, if my rook was only on the FL. <gasps> oh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Don't you? What? Am I going to take a draw? What are you kidding me? Oh, there's only 19 seconds. Maybe I can mate him. Maybe I can mate him before it's all done. Maybe I can do it. I can do it. My only chance is made in two seconds. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, that stunk. That stunk real hard. Oh, I wanted that. That was so funny. I almost had a mate there right at the end, right? With only a few seconds left. You know, then the, the chat would have been yelling, scripted, right? Um, man, so nice. Of course, the position's winning, and I, I can do a lot of things here, but I was trying to find a way to mate, but uh, we ran out of time. And now that makes a little more sense as to why he was offering a draw. He wanted us to get a little bit of points, but, you know, we're not here for points. Um, <laughs> absolute fury. Throwing that subscription to chess.com. 
you the man. Or whoa, man. I don't really know who you are. Either way, you're awesome. Um, YouTube. Can I beat my bot? I don't think I can beat my bot. I mean, I can't. If I, if I really played hard, for sure. But it's, you know, it's a computer. Um, I can't tell if Slave to Chess is being serious on Chess TV that he loves the lack of music. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, this was a lot of fun, actually. Um, it really was a lot of fun. Aquaman, I thought you went to bed. Um, you beat Danny Bob, but you lost to a 1900 Beth. Man, that is that is a crisis you have got to look into. <laughs> um, the uh, the next big event covered by Chess.com um, is the IMSCC, which I think there's a I think there's an IMSCC match tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Actually, uh, because we've got. A lot going on. I think they had to reschedule something at the last minute today for one of the players, um, from what I know. But um, the events team is all over it. I am no longer as hands-on micromanaging every aspect of this company because, because, because hair loss, because happiness. And the team is doing a great job and doing their best. So um, thanks for asking. Um, do I still do bullet brawls, Michael Schweinsberg? I wish. And again, there is a future world in a different timeline where I have more time for content and I'm, I'm hoping to realign the universe with that timeline very soon, right? In 2020, we switched cosmic timelines. The Earth kind of shifted on its axis. A lot of crazy stuff went down uh, that year. Um, officially really still this year, if you believe in the astrological calendar, which of course is that just because January 1st is an arbitrary, arbitrary superficial number made by mankind doesn't mean that we're really through winter yet, right? So the new year is really the spring in my, in my, you know, in my clock, you know? So 2020 has been rough on all of us, but let's say that if the universal timeline shifted and we got some things coming in the future, maybe that is one where I get back on the timeline of doing more content, um... Will I be competing in PogChamps 3? I don't know if that's a joke or a um, an insult or... Um, I don't mean that anyway, but it's it's an event for lower-rated players. So I'm, I'm coaching for PogChamps 3. And maybe you were asking because you um, legit didn't know the format, but it would have been funny if it was insulting me too. It would have been good either way. So Scott Whitting on YouTube, I am not competing in PogChamps 3, but I am coaching regularly. And you can go to my YouTube channel and, uh, and hit the sub button. Um, appreciate that. Um, and, um, yeah. Um, from I'm not a GM to a pog chance participant says simply swindling. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So. Oh man, that's hilarious. Alessandro I Irashi, you are, uh, you are an old school chess.com member if you're referencing the pawn structure series I never finished. You and E. Lindauer have been giving me grief about that for years. So speaking of a timeline where I can do more content, maybe that's in the future. I would love to actually contribute something super positive in the content world again. I would probably finish that series on my own YouTube and chess.com and really put in a lot of a lot of effort and a lot of uh a lot of work that I didn't quite get to finish on that series. But the pawn structure one oh one series, one of my favorite things I ever did actually jokes aside so um i will be commentating on pod champs uh me and hikaru will probably do most of them um and i love the bullet balls bullet brawls on friday michael schweinsberg it was um it was great man youtube is crushing you twitch twitch has gone downhill with with trolls like tommy and negativity and lack of contribution youtube tonight youtube tonight Bring in the quality comments, asking insightful questions, and clearly a community of ch YouTube. You know what? I take it all back. I love you, YouTube. I take it all back. This is a good sign, you know, because who knows how much longer we'll be streaming on Twitch. You know? Just kidding. But uh, it's a good sign, YouTube. I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, Tommy. Glad to hear that, buddy. Um but uh, seriously, this has been a lot of fun. And uh, 
I don't know if I'm supposed to keep going or just get more and more inappropriate throughout the night. If I should wrap it up. Um, I did have a lot of fun, though. I hope that everyone here was only slightly disappointed. The level of disappointment um, is always there when you're dealing with me. I get that. But what level of disappointment is is dependent on, on how disappointed you were with me on this particular show. Right, so rank that, and I hope that it wasn't as disappointed as maybe you thought you'd be disappointed with me. So, um, I've been told that we're supposed to raid. Um, yeah, apparently we're raiding the bras. That's sweet, little chest bra action. Um, so yeah, as soon as I'm given the word, because have you heard, bird is the word, we'll be raiding the chest bras, so... And all right, well, I'm going to uh, retreat quietly into the night and um, and leave everyone to it. I really hope you guys did have a good time. This was a lot of fun. I'm, oh man, it's so frustrating to do something not as well as you were capable of or once did, honestly. And I know a lot of people say that, it's not, but it's not just part of getting old. I'm not like old like that. I just, you know, I don't put the level of effort into it that I wish I could. And I love chess. This is so much fun. I need to play and take things more seriously, not like show up randomly after having COVID for two weeks to play Lawrence Trent. And yes, that is an excuse, but it was a very real one. Didn't put in, didn't really put in much effort there. So maybe next year's IMSCC, I take it a little more serious, huh? What do you think? Um, but thanks for being here, everybody. And um, appreciate you, seriously. And, uh, and peace out.